Golf season's over, and I'm not looking forward to this fucking three months of no <sighs> drinking. So okay, so that's, yeah, let's that's talk about this, it. Okay. This big heavy rain cloud that's. <laughs> hovering over me and it's fucking driving me nuts i almost wanted to just be fucking november already because i'm tired of thinking about it are we doing anything before it starts oh, we, i was just talking to another buddy of mine today and <laughs> we, we were like really, fuck we should we should really we should start really it off with a bad like hangover a day and remind ourselves why we're not gonna do that okay so why don't you explain it to our audience uh listeners that we're taking what are we doing we're taking november december january off booze Welcome everybody back to the Quiet Riot Show. Hey, I'm gonna welcome myself back. To yes, the Quiet Riot welcome Show. back. It's uh, yeah. it's been a little while. Jesus Christ! What? You have responsibility. I only, I do. I have lots of them. Yeah, this is one. This show is, this one, is of them. one of them. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> I'm here. It's the least important, probably. Well, I don't yeah, know about yeah. least important. It, but it's, well, it's yeah. I mean, you got to take care of your family and your business. Well, and all I got to golf and, and well, of course. Unfortunately, like, or luckily, you golf in the morning. That's true. So we can't record in the morning anyways. No, you're at work. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know. One day. One day I'll have just one job. <coughs> I, You know, it's it's actually pretty crazy that I don't know what it feels like to, like. <coughs> need a break? You good? No, I'm okay. Yeah. It's fine. Um, you know, I'm talking to my coworkers and just like. Yeah, I relaxed, came home, cooked, and I'm like, everything's rushed. Well, you saw I came home today, it's just, yeah. or like you came over, I'm like, quickly like fucking cook, 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 and then do this, and like I finished with another client prior to this, and it's just like, fuck. <laughs> it's a lot. It is, it is, yeah. It's been, it's been a minute. Fuck. Yeah, it has been. I missed the last show. Yeah, you did. Uh, um, you had did Kyle you, on. Did you listen to no, it? No, I didn't. No, you should listen How to it. How was it? it? I, Not so, like you're going to say it was shitty, but... No, it's just, you know, like you usually take the lead uh, on on doing the questions and everything. And, yeah, it's good for you. That's why I didn't and, come. It's uh, <laughs> personal development That's right, for you. Yeah. Um, hey, maybe I should let you uh, do the editing and everything. Well, I don't yeah. know if we need to go there. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it was good. I, I, was, I was definitely nervous, but uh, we needed to release an episode, so I was just like, Okay, well, we got to do it, right? Yep. And uh, I knew Kyle, like, I know him personally, right, uh, outside of the show, and he was, it's not like we just got a random guest. And so I felt comfortable talking to him about it cause, because I knew the background a little bit. Mm-hmm. So it was just nice to kind of pull out some extra information that I found out at the show, too. Okay. Um, you know, I, I feel sorry for him. Like I just, just know bits and pieces of his story, and I, I, I should go back and listen to the episode. It's, it's, um, it's, it is really, like, you know, and I told him sad. on the show, like, there's always, like, you know, there's three sides to the story, right? Sure. There's one side, the other side, and the truth. <coughs> and it was just interesting to hear it from his perspective. And, you know, he might have been uh, a bad partner or whatever, you know, but, like, I've seen him with his kids, and you know, like he's not like the lovey-dovey dad, you know. But like he's 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 got good morals, you know, and he yeah, and he's attentive. Yeah, absolutely. He's not, he's not neglectful. He's no, not no, invisible. And he's, he cares about children overall. Like he's uh, if if uh, there's a hurt kid, he would be the first one to you know jump in and mm-hmm. help the kid, right? So, so he has those like the the papa bear instincts, you know, and yeah. And so just to have his kids, like, basically taken away from him and being fucked over by lawyers, ugh, it's just... <laughs> Man. <that's>, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was... I, I Yeah, it was it was really shitty. So um, I'm well, glad he whole, came... The whole legal thing is weird. Oh. Like, the whole legal system and, and mm. all that stuff is very strange, and it's like... And we touched on that, too, that, you know, if it was reversed order... Um, the shit that his ex is doing, if he was doing, like he would have had his kids taken away mm. a long time ago, you know. And it's really hard to to fight it the other way around. I think so. the system tends to default towards women. I think so. Moms towards yeah. mothers, like and and, and I, and I actually don't so. entirely disagree with that. No, no, I, I think uh, you know, think well, like uh, I think women have that, or moms have that bond with that child since 
before know, day one it yeah. even shows up exactly yeah. so we don't we don't no no um so naturally i think yeah that they have that mother's instinct motherly instinct and um they just kind of you know they naturally are the caretakers right yeah but you have that odd you know mom that just like is a piece of shit yeah they're not all good <laughs> you know no like, and the same with dads you know there's there's really great dads and there are also quite a few horrible dads yeah for sure there is so, i would say more than mothers 100 percent. yeah yeah but again it goes to that like natural instinct thing mm-hmm. and so like i think as a man you feel i think as a man you get to make it you have to make a choice mm-hmm. i think women are for the most part just inherently born with like with when they create a child, they carry a child in their body for, they create it really yeah. for however many months. Like, um, you, you said before, like they already have that connection. Yeah. They, they're, there's like a deep, deep connection in there. Yeah. And we don't have that. So like, we actually have to make a choice to connect with that being that comes 100%, out of there. Yeah. And yeah. like, you have to decide you want to do that. You have to decide you want to be interested. You want to pay attention. Yeah. You, like, Actually, I don't know what you're talking about because I had that connection with my kids Fuck from day one. You, you did not. I did, man. Since it's, since you so, found out your wife was pregnant. Yes. Uh, How? I, I, so I actually I played music to my my kids while it was growing in my wife's stomach. Yeah. Okay. And, and, fine. And I yeah. talk I talk to it all the time, and also the fact that when the kids were born. Like uh, my daughter was not latching uh, on my wife, and she was she had a hard time like breastfeeding. My kids did not want to be with my my wife. For my wife the says first breastfeeding year. is one of the hardest things. Oh, I can't in even the imagine. Yeah, to do. Uh, but you know, I took the kids, and the kid <coughs> kid just calmed down right away, and so it pissed. Do you my think wife it off. had something to do with what you did <laughs> while she was pregnant? I, th- I think it had. Like, little, do you think that had an impact? I think a little bit. I wonder yeah. If that has an impact. Uh, well, they say that the kids do recognize voices because they they know the mother's voice. Yeah. Um, and if other people are talking to it while it's growing, um, apparently they do remember it. But I think, uh, to be honest, I think it was just a fact that like. Um, it made my wife really anxious that she couldn't breastfeed. Sure. You know, and it was just like also hormones, right? Like, so she was anxious naturally. So the kids kind of felt it. So they, yeah. they first year, I was the go-to. Really? They, they turned one, fuck off dad. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like, oh, literally I'd be sitting on the couch. They'll walk around like, mom, I'm hungry. It's like, ask dad. He's right there. <laughs> so, you know, they, that connection came back very fast. But yeah, no, as uh, like they would sleep with me, like especially my son, he would have sometimes three, four hour naps. They would be waking both of us up. You oh, know, really? they're like, hey, okay, it's, it's time to get up. There's like not more than 45 minutes with my wife. I bet you missed those three or four hour naps. Oh my God. I just want to have another kid just, just for those just naps. Just to do that. Yeah. I'm taking uh, you parental can't leave. You have another one. Uh, no, I can't. Can uh, I need to find a donor. <laughs> you can't have me. No. Actually, I've never, I haven't been tested yet. I need to go get tested. I am. I never We should go either. together. Yeah, all right. I'll yeah. go. Let's <laughs> like, like same room, same time or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> we'll use the same magazine. Jeez. <laughs> oh, or we'll just use each other for motivation. That'd be so weird. Oh, yeah. I mean, I Like, could... never mind doing it as the two of us in one room. <laughs> like, that's weird on another level. It'd just be weird to do that. Man, imagine we show it's like, hi, I'm Tim. Hi, I'm Tommy. And we're, be- we're like best s- friends. Like stepbrothers. <laughs> <laughs> Where they go to job interviews. Yeah. This would be next level. Actually. (laughs) Oh, we got to get tuxes, though. Oh, (laughs) jeez. I don't know. That seems like it's an arrestable offense. Uh, Probably. (laughs) Anyways. uh, I did never get tested after, though. Yeah. No. My gambling? (laughs) I guess it's a gamble. It is. It is. I should probably do that. Well, it depends. Do you pull out or... I don't want to divulge. Okay. All well, those things. Okay. So just I, little, I'm just it depends bit, on that, right? A little bit of everything. Yeah, because like <laughs> if you if you fully you know do that, then yeah, yeah. then you should be safe if you're careful. But you never know. Even then, like shit happens. Well, right? you're not even forty yet, bud. You could no. still. Well, and men can have make kids forever. Well, and that's the thing with the vasectomy; like it it can grow back together, right? And 
there's always a chance. Even at least when I went for the consultation, like they told me, like even though they you know cut it, cauterize it, there's a chance that it will grow back and. I don't think you they can. ever told me any of that. No way. Well, I don't know. I wasn't really listening. And even if it was like to a be honest, small I wasn't percentage. really listening. <laughs> it's a small percentage, but it it, it can happen. Yeah, okay. So. I just kind of went and yeah. I don't know. Just put my headphones on and it was over. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, are we checking in? Yeah, let's check yeah, in. Right. Uh, Tommy, timeline and number. <laughs> Now, I should add. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? Yeah, this might this might help me actually. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah, trying yeah, to help yeah, yeah, yeah. You've had quite the adventurous last, I don't know, six weeks. Yeah. Two months. Two months. Yeah. Let's I'd say, say two let, months. Yeah, two months for sure. You've yeah. had quite an adventurous couple of months. Actually, yeah. The, the 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 first two weeks that we went to Ontario, that fucking set me back so bad. Uh, with like work wise. Well, know? yeah. And yeah, um, I know. <laughs> yes, you do, <laughs> and and then the fact that I got sick as well for almost two weeks didn't help. Didn't no. help, and I was behind on two deadlines, uh, and you had shit ton of work for me, and it's just like yeah, those are deadlines. Yeah, well, as I don't, <laughs> you know, I'm I always add few days because of all the discounts I'm giving you. you know? <laughs> <laughs> Um, no, but no, but you've had a lot. Like you've had a lot of activity this, yeah, this, this summer. And, really, if we're talking about summer and review, which wasn't really our plan, but maybe that's what we'll talk about. Yeah, later. we'll but see where this goes. Just like you, you did a lot of shit this summer. Yeah, yeah, it was. Um, so you we, went a lot of places. Yeah, we did. We well, it started in May. Went to Slovakia, right? Yeah. For for three weeks, came back, did a bunch of camping, uh, did some landscaping. Um, you know, then went to Ontario for well ten days. Um, came back, got sick, had to finish a bunch of work, and then went to Montreal for a week. Yeah, uh, which fucking I love Montreal. Oh my god, that was like <laughs> it's pretty fun. Like the the food was incredible. I I, <laughs> I kind of got pissed off at one of my coworkers because first day we landed right, and then. Okay, let's find a, a liquor store, right? So went to just get su- supplies for just so we have some drinks, right, for the hotel. And you went for a work event. Right? Yeah, yeah, okay. it was it was yeah. work, yeah. yeah, yeah. And but yes, yeah, so like you know, after we come back from a conference, no, like, we don't have drinks, I'm, right? I'm the so last to judge. yeah, and uh, so we we found the the liquor store, which is uh, so funny because like we didn't realize how much shit there is underground. And oh Montreal. yeah, tons. Yeah, and so we're like we're following the map. We're like fuck, it says liquor stores right here, but this is a fucking Standing parkade. On top yeah, of it. yeah, exactly. So we're <laughs> right on top of it. But uh, and then we're walking back. Like, oh, there's McDonald's. Let's uh, let's get some walking burgers. I'm like, no man. If I'm getting anything, it's gonna be a walking poutine. You yeah. know, like yeah, like, or like I want something like uh, like a smoked me- a smoked I'm getting, I'm uh, meat McDonald's sandwich. You know, in Montreal. Yeah, like I'm not here to eat McDonald's. Yeah. Like I refuse. <laughs> or like guys were like, well, should we go to an Italian restaurant? I do I'm think like, it's funny that he called it walking burgers, though. That's kind that's of that's pretty funny. Yeah, yeah, it's just a snack. <laughs> yeah. right? I mean they're. Right away for Winnipeggers, like, oh shit, this is uphill. I'm already hungry, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's a different kind of life walking around that city. Yeah, but no, it was it was really nice. So I had lots of ups and downs in the last two months because there's lots of fun things that we've done, and then there's go go go, yeah. and then lots of fun things and go go go, and even right now, like, so in two weeks we're going to Minneapolis for a weekend. Oh right, uh, with uh, with just the four of us, and uh, really looking forward to it because I know even though we're gonna go see. Some cool place. We're gonna go check out uh, Prince's estate. Oh, you were talking about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, then, you know, we're gonna go to Mall of America, and uh, me and you know, my son are going to uh, um, a concert. So yeah, it's good. Girls are gonna go shopping. Perfect. You know, it's awesome. Um, so it's just, I guess, it's one of those things. Like we're so freaking busy. Then we told ourselves that we need to have these little mini trips. Yeah. Every two, three months, because otherwise we're going to go crazy, right? Well, and you just don't, like, you don't get that kind of focused time together. Mm-mm. And, like, I go through the same thing. Like, I feel like we just come on the show and talk about how busy we are all the time. I, I, and that's, I didn't <laughs> I really want to get that, into but yeah. like, And we're also in the check-in still, but that doesn't matter. Yeah. Um, no, but I feel like you don't get that kind of focused time. Like, yeah. you have to leave the house. You have to leave the city. You have to, like, when I go to the cabin with my wife and daughter, like, we actually spend time together. Yeah, like yeah. You play periods games of time. or whatever. It's not yeah. like 
an hour yeah or we eat dinner and then like my daughter takes 10 bites she's like i'm full can i be excused and then she yeah. like, wants to go chat with people it's it was like, actually funny last night we we sat down together as a family first time in a long time at home like at mm. camping it's nice do you guys do that ever? like do you have dinners together uh we try to but like yeah. during the week we're so freaking busy well and now. your kids have lots of activities like never mind you're busy like yeah <laughs> your daughter has a lot of activities yeah. your son has he does two or three different yeah uh he's starting an actual activities November, yeah. really yeah what's he doing football Football. Yeah, flag football, yeah. Oh, yeah. my niece and nephew play flag yeah. football. Like, they played on the provincial Oh, okay. Team. Yeah, he really wanted They're to like do They're, like, super so. good at it or whatever. I don't know. I don't know so, how that works. So, yeah, no, the, we, we, try to, we try to, if we can, sit down together. But, yeah, it's just, like, it's usually, during the week, it's rushed. Because, like. Just at the table, wolf it down. And, gymnastics. Uh, yeah. Gabby's going to work. Uh, drumming, taekwondo twice a week, and he's going to start sparring on Saturdays, and then he's going to have football on Saturdays. I have hockey. We have Toastmasters with my wife. Yeah, yeah, just oh wonderful. Uh, podcast, oh. you know, <laughs> other podcasts, which you know. too many things. Oh yeah, you have another podcast. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> which is that one's limited. Like I, we try only do it when I have time. Like I, yeah. I really try to. Limit yeah, you're not like on a schedule or anything. No, no, that, that one's one just like a fun whatever get together. It's it's ma- mainly just an excuse for us to get together. And I'd like to try. come be on that one again. Well, we're doing it tomorrow, but you're busy. So. Yeah, no, I can't come. Tomorrow. Yeah, no, <laughs> but someday. <laughs> um. So, anyways, anyways, uh, give it all of those things. So. Uh, Last episode, I was kind of going up on the high because shit was getting done. But now I'm again like, I thought I'm done. And then you hit me with more work. So I'm like, oh, shit. I'm so fucking no, sorry. No, but, but I think I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a good, like a solid six. Okay, that's yeah. good. So yeah, that's good. I was really low at at one point, and, and I'm hovering now on the, in, on the top part yeah, okay. of the scale. Yeah, yeah, so that's good. Six is okay. Yeah. How yeah. about you? Tell us your busy life. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's mostly just work. Yeah. Uh, I don't have the only other thing. Well, but I you have other factors, too, that yeah, come yeah, in. I and have, we're not going to touch I, on that, but. Well, yeah, my wife's been a little bit ill, and, like, that's added oh, responsibilities I was talking to about my plate. The other stuff, and I but, have, what, lawsuits? Yeah. Yeah, I got yeah. those. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, golf is kind of my one hobby. Yeah. And so that I do, and I do it pretty, I make sure I do it fairly often like do you actually do you when you're golfing do you uh kind of turn your phone off like trying to not try no, no, not no, to no no, no? no, no. no absolutely not. okay you should try it like i and, will and, never do that but like you should try it like once a week at least you know where you like never do that no because eh? no. like That's it would impossible. be you you would be almost like focused on just like the golf game or actually like focusing on breathing and just kind of i don't think i can do that yeah well, you no. should try you don't know until you try i don't like or like yeah. try for half you know half the golf game right like just try it <laughs> I can't do it man forget it well and the pro the thing not the problem but the thing is like I golf in the mornings yeah but like I'll start in the middle of summer I'll start at like six forty five okay. and we play pretty quick yeah but like my staff and kind of my my business starts operating at nine that's okay. when my staff yeah, yeah. start that's kind of when everything gets going so you don't necessarily get. So this like I want to be available. Yeah. Like I want to. I I like the fact that I'm available. Yeah. I'm, we're in growth. We're in a growth mode, and yeah. we're building a business. Like that takes time. You know that yeah, takes yeah. time and mm. lots of energy and attentiveness. And yeah. like, I'm not. I'm not in a phase yet where I'm like. Where I even look forward to the opportunity to like disengage. Yeah. Like I just don't want to. Well, and I've also got lots you of enjoy what you're doing too. I, I do for for sure. I do. Yeah. yeah. Um, I wouldn't say every single minute all the time, but yeah. like, yes, overall, I absolutely do. I get a lot out of it. It's very much a reward for me. Yeah. It's very much like a, a makes me feel good. It makes me feel useful. It gives me purpose. Like those are all good things. Mm-hmm. Um, so I golf in summer. I'm getting a little nervous because golf season is over like next week. Yeah. And so like, you're going to be, visiting I, always hate, Johnny I always hate that part of the year. And so we're trying to make a plan to sub like do something different okay. at the same time those same days because yeah. I'm kind of in that routine where like that's the time I get to you do always the go thing same I want to do. Yeah, yep. yeah. We play the same two days every week, and yep. then like if it works out, we'll slide another one in somewhere or whatever. But yeah. like we have two consistent mornings every week. Same me and two other guys, always the same people. Yeah, 
and like that's, that's fun. Good. I love yeah. that. Yeah, it, it's really good for me. It's good for like, it's good for my mental health. It's for sure. Like you're all you're outside, being outside, yeah. walking around. Like you're getting exercise. Yep. I'm not riding a cart like or yeah. very often. Yeah, we at talked all. about it. Yeah, it's- for the most part, I walk. Uh, my knee's been in shit for the last month and a half. So like I've ridden mm-hmm. a little bit, but like I'm still walking. Yeah, like almost all the time. Yeah, yeah. And I enjoy it. I actually like walking. Like yeah. it's I get a different level of enjoyment from golf when I well, walk. Well, it's it's just when I whole... ride, I just get too drunk because there's too many <laughs> cup holders. Yeah, yeah. But no, but like when you're walking, like your body is actually like circulating the blood and like oxygen mm. goes to your brain and all that, right? Yeah, faster, you're getting so. sun yeah. and like in the middle of summer, you're getting that sunlight. And right and away. it's at six seven in the morning. It's still not super hot. No, yeah. it's great. Yeah. yeah. I remember I used to do that when I worked midnights. I would work till 6.30 and I would book a tea time at 7. that's so smart. And then I would play till like usually like, you know, 10 or so. And then come home and pass out. Full nap. Dead. And I would have like a, you know, four or five hour nap. This must have been but before was, you had kids. Uh, no, that was during, but they oh, were okay. like, they were in daycare, you oh, know? Oh, yeah, so, like, yeah, it was, okay. it so was, they weren't home. They yeah. weren't home, yeah. So then I woke up when the family got home. So mm. that was pretty good, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's... Didn't do that too often, but yeah, the days I did it, it was awesome. Yeah, that's good. So, I would say that I'm probably a five and a half. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's... that's yeah, for the last little while, that's actually not too bad. Yeah, because like, um, you run a seven. I haven't for a while, but, but, but normally yeah. I have, historically, yes. yeah. Yeah, so that like that's almost like that's your ten. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, I don't think you. Yeah. I don't think you ever went past. Seven. Uh, there might have been one. We Maybe, have to yeah. go back in the episodes and but, check. But uh, there yeah, one. so five, five and a half is yeah, not bad. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, okay, I'm tired, but yeah. that's fine. Everybody's tired. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> yeah. I'm. Uh, I, I, you know what? It's golf f- season's over, and I'm not looking forward to this fucking three months of no <sighs> drinking. So okay, so that's, yeah, let's that's, talk about that's, it. Okay. This big heavy rain cloud that's <laughs> hovering over me, and it's fucking driving me nuts. I almost wanted to just be fucking November already because I'm tired of thinking about it. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, are we doing anything before it starts? Oh, we, I was just talking to another buddy of mine today. And <laughs> we we should were like, really, fuck, we should, we should really we should start really, it off with a bad like, hangover. Have a day. <laughs> okay, so why don't you... ourselves why we're not going to do that. Okay, so why don't you explain it? Uh, I, I know we talked about it, but explain it to our audience, uh, listeners. That we're taking... What are we doing? We're taking November, December, January... Off booze, so dry. Excluding seven days. Excluding is so, it seven? Yeah, is it a, seven? There's a seven day, or is it eight? No, it's seven. Is it seven? Seven. Okay. Do you want it to be eight? Well, I'll make it eight. I'll make it twelve right now. <laughs> Hold on, I just I just need to look. No, at seven it. days. Okay, I'll it's just, it's seven days. Because obviously Christmas and New Year's, we want to we want to well, enjoy. You can the choose whatever you want. I but mean, during that's the three what months, I'm choosing. You get a seven day consecutive period where you can take a a reprieve from the. From the sobriety, so I guess. just to let you know, no oh, shit, Christmas yeah. is on a Wednesday. Okay, what's wrong with that? And uh, well, I don't know. I, I just I was thinking like we could already have drinks like the weekend. I know, before. but for me, like every day is the same. No, I know uh, for you, but I'm just thinking like you know the weekend before. It's like usually there's like Christmas parties, friends get together. You uh, know, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And then, but then if you started on the let's say you started on a Saturday the 21st well that only goes till 28th I would rather seven days I would rather drink around Christmas time I actually don't care if I drink at New Year's uh, yeah I don't care either so like, New Year's is like, like maybe let's coordinate weeks mm, but okay. like I would actually be happy to take the weekend before Christmas we should, like, get, we should that get, week we should get really high on New Year's <laughs> I mean, I don't smoke weed often, so I think that would be freaking sure. hilarious. Okay, you 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 just know you know mu- a guy that can hook mushrooms. me up, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. We quit yeah. drinking for three months, but we started doing <laughs> ecstasy every yeah. day. Like, <laughs> okay, so we're sticking to the seven days. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, yeah. no, I, Let, that's what we decided. Let's, we let's can't be strict about start it, yeah. making exceptions. Or I'm just going to not do it. Yeah, that's fair. Because then yeah, I'm going to yeah. talk my way into not having that's to do right, it. That's right, yeah. And like I got to... <laughs> oh, well, we pushed it here. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Whatever. You know what? Let's do let's do December, January, February. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right? <laughs> I'm still telling you I'm taking the first seven days. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what we're doing. So I'm... 
I think we've covered this lots on the show, but like I'm I don't a, think a lot. I'm a but, fairly regular drinker. No, oh, that yes, we like covered, I drink every yes, day. Yeah, I don't. You don't apparently. I'm better than I you. Don't, I don't believe you, but that's fine. <laughs> um, but I have a drink or some amount of drinks every day. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's probably a. It's probably time for a break. Just to let you know how much I drink, like I have not had a whiskey since last Friday, since you were here for my birthday. Yeah, but you've had beers and I've had American vintage I've iced had, teas. No, I've I've vodka. had I had beers on Saturday because I was at the Manitoba Love Music Awards and I had a shot of tequila. Then I went to the no, I, I'm lying. That was a week. I'm lying. Yeah, you're full of shit. I went fuck to you. I went to the lake. I had whiskeys. Yeah. Yes, sorry. Oh, well, okay, fuck. I was at the lake, but at you're home, so much better than at me. home. At oh, home. Oh wow, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> No, that but really, yeah, that really didn't go your way. No, did no, it? no, but okay, but like here, let's. That was a week at home, and I haven't had whiskey even on the weekend. This past weekend, I haven't had whiskey. By a whiskey, like a drink. Yeah, like not a single whiskey, and then I just had no, more. like a beer, like no, no, uh, wine. I, I had wine last night with, okay. with my wife, that's, but that's nothing, all the but nothing sa- during the week. That's all the same thing, but nothing You're during the week. Specifying whiskey, like it, like that's the one that I didn't drink whiskey for three months. Yeah, I switched to gin. <laughs> Like, no, no, that's no. the same no, shit. No, I did not have any alcohol during the week. Okay. Zero. Yeah. Like? Zero, yeah, like nothing. All yeah. week? All week, yeah. Like, and not even Friday and Saturday, yeah. What did you- No, Friday I had one beer. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Because I went to hockey. This just keeps yeah. getting fucking better. <laughs> See, this is, okay, but this is prime example why it's probably time we take a yeah, break. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, just, it becomes such a part of... Regular part of your life, but here's okay. I'm, sorry, I'm, I'm already prepping. Okay. I'm already pre- prepping for this three months because so uh, Friday last Friday my hockey started, yeah. And so you know we go have beers. I have usually a beer before hockey and then have a beer after hockey and then yeah, we go and then upstairs and yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I was like, okay, I got there. I'm like, ah, I didn't feel like a beer beforehand. So because I knew I'm gonna be fucking hurting was it your first one first one oh, yeah that yeah. must have been how oh, was that did Jesus you throw up? no I didn't but we were sitting on the bench you look at the clock like it's been 20 minutes what the hell it feels like we've been on the ice for an hour you know yeah. Um, but yeah then I had one beer after and then we went upstairs and I was gonna buy a beer but then I'm like uh, you know what? Just get me a diet coke and I got some wings and that's that's all I did I was like you know what this is like a good practice see the for the me problem too. is you say that, and my immediate reaction is like, "Well, that sounds <laughs> shitty." No, but I again, I took four probably months. Probably time off. to take I, a break. I've taken four months have off you? from drinking. Yeah, before. I don't know if I have. And I showed up to a party with a twelve pack of Bud Zeros, and I was chugging them with the other guys that were can, chugging. Can we beers. make an agreement that no, during no. this three months, we're not doing that? I we're like not the Bud Zero guys. See, but do I don't you, want to be the Bud Zero. Do guy. you like beer and clam? No. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I love beer and clam. And if you add Clamato to uh, Bud For our Zero, American li- listeners, it, it Clamato is like is, uh, clam juice and tomato juice mixed together. It's tomato, like vegetable juice and with clam sauce. Yeah. And so... Sounds super appetizing, I know. <laughs> it's delicious. <laughs> it but is you, actually... I like a good Caesar, so, like, I can't yeah, argue. Yeah, but you add, uh, you add uh, a little bit to a non-alcoholic beer, it tastes just like beer and clam. All right. Yeah, and it's and that's how I learned to enjoy. That's like telling me an beer. impossible burger tastes like a yeah fucking yeah, burger. Exactly. It doesn't. I, yeah, it's it's you got to trick your but mind. Hey, you do but, your thing. You but that's thing. that's what helped me not drink for four months. And I showed up to a party. When did you not drink for four months? Oh, this was before. Not since I've known you. No, no, no. That was before. Okay. That, yeah. That was well. That was the last. Uh, I started drinking, and it was four months because. Uh, we had our last show with my band. Okay. And so we knew each other, but not we weren't like friends necessarily. We knew each other through the show. Um, but yeah, it was my band's last show. And so I was like, fuck it, I'm having drinks. Trust me, it didn't take a lot, lot to get me drunk <laughs> after four months. That was fun. It was a, I was a cheap drunk then. I'm I, curious what three months off is going to do. I felt great, honestly. Oh, no, I'm yeah, going to be super yeah. skinny and I'm... For sure, gonna feel lovely. Yeah, but I don't. I don't want to. I don't care. <laughs> well, and this, I know it's important. I know it's a thing. And like, and I don't think you drink because you need to drink. I think you drink because you like. I love drinking. You like the taste of yeah. I rarely get drunk. Yeah, 
Like I don't get drunk that often. But you know what? You know what helped me during when I quit for the four months, uh, and I was kind of worried prior to that, and that is one of the reasons why I just kept going because I started doing like I'm gonna take sober October. You know, yeah. I'm gonna do that for a month, and then. I just I th- I think it, October switched to November like during the week and just wasn't like you know it wasn't like ooh it's November first let's have a drink uh, I was just doing something I can't remember but like I'm like ah oh, you know what I'm just gonna fucking keep going see how long I can push this if I really feel like a drink I'm gonna have one yeah right? and then it almost turned into a little challenge but my my dad did get the ultimatum when I when my mom was pregnant with me because he was an alcoholic okay yeah. yeah. Uh, my uncles basically died of liver failure because of the drinking. You know, my culture in my culture, there's a lot of drinking. Yeah, and so so it's something you probably need to keep an eye well, on. Well, and and it was one of those things that I I noticed that I got home and I couldn't go without having a drink. Mm. You know, yeah, and I okay. just like you know, my wife pointed it out and I started noticing it that it's just like, oh yeah, like I would come home first thing would be crack a beer. Yeah. And then have another one and then have a whiskey or rum and co- whatever. And then, you know, next yeah. thing you know, I'm just like useless. And I want to go to sleep. Now, part of me wishes I would be doing that because I would go to sleep <laughs> earlier. Sleep so much better. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but, um, Actually, you wouldn't. But. <laughs> no. But, um, yeah, it's just like, I, so I was like, oh, you know what? I'm going to see how long I can push it. And so I went four months and what helped me realize, like, before that, I was really drinking just to get drunk. Yeah, okay. And after that, I could, like, if I'm really in a mood for a drink, I'll make myself one drink, and I'll I'll sip it, I'll enjoy it, I'll I'll have just one. Yeah. And so that's what we started doing with my wife now, is that I won't drink unless I'll ask her, like, hey, would you like a drink? And if she says yes, then we'll have one drink or, or two drinks, whatever. Yeah, okay. But, like, we'll hop in the hot tub or just sit in the front or whatever. But we do that together, and it's kind of it kind of became our thing now, mm. you know. So yeah, okay. So and it, it helped me kind of appreciate that act- the whiskey, the taste of whiskey. I before it was like always like rum and coke, you yeah. know, and just mix it because I didn't really necessarily enjoy the yeah. taste of alcohol. I was just drinking it to get drunk. I like a good rum and coke. I you know what actually I had white rum and coke uh, just recently, and I was like, oh my god, I used to drink a lot of it before, and like, it just brought back memories. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, oh, that there, there is a taste. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it's like um, it's it's very sugary, so I try not yeah. to drink it, rum overall. But um, uh, you know, try to enjoy it more on the rocks, and that's why I usually top it up with water yeah. and stay hydrated. Yeah, that's not a thing. <laughs> but no. you know what? <laughs> though it is though. Like I mean, I can like if we were to. I don't now, think that's actually a thing. N- no, it is because I don't get hangovers if I just stick to. Whiskey. I don't get them either. Yeah, but if I if I stick to whiskey. Only whiskey, I'm fine. As soon as I'll, I can have twenty whiskeys and have one beer, I'll have a headache the next day. Really? Yeah. If I mix it, I I get a hangover. Yeah. So um, I don't like beer. I, I I need to be in the mood. I pff. I like a good Guinness from time to time. Yeah, you, that's right. You do. But only like one. Um, I just realized like I bought a thirty case. Guess of, we're drinking on the show today. Yeah. We're talking about talking booze. about yeah. booze. And we didn't even actually have and a we're plan taking, for anything. And we're, we're gonna taking talk three about. months off, right? Um, <laughs> no, but uh, I realized that uh, I bought a thirty pack of beer before the camping season, and I still brought back like eight or nine beers. Well, you better finish them. November's coming. <laughs> Don't worry, all my booze will be gone. <laughs> it will be dry. <laughs> no, but it was just like I didn't drink much beer. Now whiskey, I think I. Even at the lake, I went maybe two or maybe three bottles of that. Like, not even oh, that. That's not, that's not no, much. I wasn't, like, honestly, I wasn't drinking okay. that much this that's summer. Fine. Yeah, that's so, good. yeah. Well, I drink I'm, more with you here <laughs> on the show or hanging out yeah, it's, than, but well, that's okay. because I think it, most people do. <laughs> but I, I, I don't mind having the, like, I put it together with, like, socializing, you know? Yeah, so, yeah. like I will have my drinks with you, and I'm not limiting myself to just one or two. You know, I'm sure. going to have drinks, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, on a regular day, I'm just cutting it out and not having okay. it. Yeah. Well, so I don't think I'm going to struggle with the three months. I would say, I, in all honesty, I think the first month will be pretty tough for yeah. me. Uh, for sure, the first couple of weeks. My one friend, uh, he said to me, I told him I was doing this, and he got all mad at me. <laughs> 
And <laughs> couldn't believe you. He was like, why the fuck would you do that to the rest of us? <laughs> I was like, fuck you. Like, <laughs> That's true. He was joking. That, that is true. He was joking, but like, I I actually believe there's some truth there, whereas like the first couple of weeks is probably going to be... It'll like, be just a shock. I'm going to be a little grouchy. Yeah. Like, there's it'll no way sho- I will. It'll definitely be a shock to your body. Yeah. Well, and I'm going to, like, get back on my diet super clean. So, like, I'm just... Are you going oh, to do your reset stuff? Yeah, I'm just well, doing it. Well, I guess it. that helps because you've done that for a month, right? I, I'm just going to do it. Yeah. And so, if I'm giving stuff up, then I'm, fuck it, let's go. Shit, I should do that, too. I should quit smoking, too, but... Do let's it. Let's not do that one at the same time. I'll... <laughs> just just smoke weed and do I'll drugs. I'll go to jail. <laughs> I'll end up in jail. So, we're going to we're gonna taper that one off, but... No, I'm. I'm just. I'm. I am actually, in a way, looking forward to the three months off, but in another way, I'm terrified of it. Yeah. And that, that's actually why I think it's a good time to do it. For sure. Like I'm. I'm not concerned. I can't do it. I'm just terrified of. Well, you doing you, you it. can do it because you've done it for a month. Yeah. So if you can do a month, it's actually at that point it'll be easier. Two and, or three. And is if easier, you but. and yeah, again, you're gonna do it together with your uh, reset. Yeah, you've done it multiple, yeah, multiple I'm just times. Do the so whole thing. Yeah. You you were in that mindset, and yeah, yeah, you will be grouchy as hell. But oh yeah, these shows are gonna get real interesting in November. <laughs> maybe we should. That's, I'm maybe gonna, we should pre-record. I'm gonna interview you. <laughs> Let's do it. Actually, well, and we should like yeah. during that three months. Like we, well, should, we'll for sure the first month. We we'll give you guys progress on like and, what yeah. uh, how we're feeling and. I'll t- you know what? I'm gonna be, be swearing at everybody. Uh, what you we should do is uh, take a five minute break. Sure, we can do that. But before we go on break, um, we'll record a um show right before we start that, and we sure. should do our blood test, like to like what kind? Isn't that like where you like? Well, I gotta go for um like my cholesterol has been high, so I gotta go for a blood test actually soon. Uh, but like we should almost get like like we could do like a real blood test. Yeah, yeah. Like we should do that, and then never like, had one, and then just really like see like okay, like three months of not drinking, and trying to do the reset, like what it does to our bodies, and then fuck, it would be awesome sure. if we could get like a professional on here to talk sure. about it, right? Like I'll do. I'll we should do. get Doctor D on here. What kind of blood tests? I've asked him. He's not ready. I know. What kind of blood test we do can we put have to a, get? We can put a screen here or something. <laughs> <laughs> you can sit behind the curtain. <coughs> what kind of blood test would we have to get? Um, well, I, I need to go for my... my we should ask uh, the unscripted guys. Actually, yeah. They'll right, know. Yeah. Uh, we, phone them. We can definitely... <laughs> I don't have their phone number. Well, um, we have one on Instagram. Well, we have them on Instagram. Let's try calling them. Okay. You do it. But uh, I know I need to go for my cholesterol and my sugar was also high, so... Hey, Tommy... Among all the episodes we've recorded, you know, there's one common theme, and that's getting therapy. We've talked about it lots. Many, many times. You yep, had a yep. really tough time making that first phone call. I had a tough time making that first phone call. I didn't even know if the person I was going to see was the right person, but you got to just try. Thank goodness we have a sponsor that makes it way easier now. BetterHelp has an online platform that allows you to fill out a questionnaire, they connect you with a therapist, and you get to communicate with them however you want. And it makes it way less scary to be connected with someone. And if you're not into the person you talk to, they'll sign you another one right away. Um, I've gotten assigned mine already, and yeah, I can't wait to here. use it. Like By the time you hear this, I will have had my first session and I'm super pumped to talk about it on the show. Yeah, I'm very excited about it. And, like, it's very easy to sign up. It took us maybe five minutes to sign up. And um, you answer just simple questions. And uh, next thing you know, uh, you got a message that the ther- you will be paired up with a therapist. And within the same day, we got the therapist already, and the name and a message from them. And we were able to communicate with them. So it's extremely easy. So please go to... Betterhelp.com. Oh, that yeah, that's the thing. Uh, Betterhelp.com uh, <laughs> slash Quiet Riot Show. And you get to also uh, enjoy 10% off for your first month if you sign up uh, using this link. So, again, right here, I'm going to be doing it from here. Yeah, it's Betterhelp. <laughs> Am I screwing it up? .com <laughs> slash Quiet Riot Show. Um, yeah, sign up today and uh, you'll, you're will you not going to regret it because I'm already enjoying it, uh, just the fact that we connected with therapists. Me too, man. 
thank you to BetterHelp for supporting this podcast. Okay, so we couldn't get a hold of anybody. Yeah, no. <laughs> any professional. <laughs> Failed uh, attempt. Yeah, very failed. Uh, but uh, you know what? Uh, it, it, I'm not sure if the guys from Men's Health uh, Scripted listen to every episode, but if the, if you guys do, um, you know, shoot us a message. Uh, what do you think? Yeah, or we can message them. Maybe is yeah. better than an impromptu call. Yeah. They're probably working. Just trying to work on social media. Cam's maybe. probably like uh, <laughs> out shooting guns in yeah. his backyard or <laughs> something. <laughs> But uh, no, I, I'd like to see. I I would really like to see. Like, I'm gonna get blood work for myself done. I'll, I'll tell my doctor. Like, look, like we're taking three months off. Like, yeah, of no drinking. And I know my doctor does not agree with me going on the the keto because it's high fat and because my cholesterol is high. Yeah, it's a myth. Uh, well. <laughs> And it's, it's it's one of those things like who you talk to. One person believes in this, the yeah. other person believes in that, right? I think uh, well, I honest- doctors are just giving you their best advice, medical advice. Yeah. And they all believe different things. Yeah. They all have different educations. Blah, Honestly, blah, blah. when I I'm did, not discrediting any of them. When for I did whatever, the reset, but- I felt 100% better. Like I was eating meat and cheese and oh, bacon. Yeah. And, and like, you know, before that, I was like using the. No, I was going for number twos like three, four times a day. And they, they were like... That's you know, a lot. Sorry for the visual, <laughs> but it was like... <laughs> Imagine a syringe, <laughs> like you're you're squeezing out a syringe at high speed, you know, um, with lots of backsplash. Oh, like, Jesus. no, it was. And then so when, really when I got it out there, eh? <laughs> when I when I got on the the reset, like I became regular, yeah. and every day between nine and ten, I had one solid dump, and that was it. And it was like, you know, now there's also theories. Oh, you need to go to the bathroom like two, three times a day. What? Blah, blah. Really? Yeah, exactly. I like, don't think so. How much food do you eat? You That's know, but like, excessive. But I felt great. I had more energy. Um, yeah. Overall, I, I, I lost some weight, but the only thing I don't if like about- If you kept about, at it, you'd lose a pile. I don't like, what I don't like about keto, and especially with our busy life, is that uh, it's I can't um, manage like um, not man- I can't sustain it. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. You know, it's, well, because you got to cook two separate yeah, meals and I essentially. Just don't have the and, yeah, time. no, I get it. Because I got to watch out now what ingredients I add. You know, what has sugar, what doesn't. Oh, like, I, it's so hard. I totally get it, and it's part of the reason why for the last year I have not really been <clears throat> yeah. on it. But yeah, you lost just, like tons of weight. Oh yeah, and like I've gained some back. I. I'll lose but you can't see that by the, the end, by the end of it. January I'm gonna look sickly yeah. skinny like if I could I mean ultimately like I I also only eat like once a day yeah. which is also not necessarily the healthiest oh day. no not yeah. at all I drink every day and I only eat once a day <laughs> um, none of that is healthy <laughs> I uh you know like I'm not I don't really I don't necessarily have issues with my weight because I I am well you know I'm 511 yeah so I think I'm around I want to say 250. Okay. 240 to 250. I don't know what weight looks like on And, uh, you know, it's more just like like my belly area is big, and that's yeah. what I would like to lose. And that is the fucking hardest thing to lose. I probably need to work out and, you know. No, you just keto. Well, no, but like, I do need just to clean I eating. do need to tighten things up. Yeah, no, that yeah. that's a separate. <clears throat> yeah. Like, losing that, the weight is just about what you yeah. need. Well, Ex- exercise helps, but like yeah, and that's the thing. If I but if I, gaining muscle mass and, and yeah. ga- being fit is a totally different. Well, thing. Well, and that's the thing. I don't want to just lose weight because then everything's just gonna sag. True. Right. Yeah. So like, if if I'm gonna if I really wanted to focus on losing weight, um, or losing fat, should let's do it call with it, exercise. Then it, I should I need to yeah. do it with exercise. Yeah. yeah. Um, other than that, like, you know, like, I mean, I don't have fat arms. I don't have fat legs or anything. So, no. like, it's just the belly area is yeah. that, you know, and the double chin. It's just where you, that's where you got the beard. <laughs> <laughs> it hides my triple chin. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, yeah, no, so I, I yeah, I'm definitely going to get tested, and I'm going to tell my doctor, like, hey, like, I'm doing this. I'm doing this for me, you know. I'm not yeah. doing this to, to, you know, prove anything to anyone. Uh, I just really want to see, and I think I'm going to try the three months keto because I think it's somewhat sustainable okay. uh, for three for the short short period of time. Yeah, and then I want to get because uh, this is also like Doctor D told us uh, told me that you know you should get blood work done before and after. And this yeah, you know, I've never done right. that, so I think I'll I'll go and do that. I, I haven't had blood work. I don't know. Ever. Yeah. One time. I, I didn't until my doctor and I don't really sent even know me. Know what they tested for. 
Like I, I got tested for like cholesterol, uh, sugar. Oh no, and, I had like uh, a sexually transmitted disease test. Oh, did you get the? No, I had nothing. I oh, just okay. no, no, no. Oh. I just I did it. Uh, long story. Yeah. <laughs> um, nothing. Everything was fine. But I guess for HIV or whatever, yeah. you have to do blood. Oh, okay. All the other ones, it's just pee. But yeah, uh, but I don't um, think they do the Q-tip anymore. Yeah, I don't know. I never. I think now to. it's just pee. I've had one partner for now over twenty years, yeah, so yeah, I'm yeah. like, um, if you get anything, yeah. well, there's <laughs> she's she's <laughs> it's out, she's of, out. There's a lot of questions. <laughs> <It's> me. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, and then I got tested for testosterone because uh, oh, okay. I at one point you know when I and this was when I was going through depression. Yeah, uh, Glenn actually, Glenn Damon. Told he's big. Me, he's a big proponent of like. Uh, Get test your T levels checked. I yes. remember when he was on the show, yes, he talked yeah, about because that like he, very specifically. Yeah, because he he his was low, and so yeah. now he has to get like actual, um, like shots, shots, yeah, once every three four weeks, whatever it Money, is. Money, like I think when you get to forty, late thirties, like it's time to. I think it is a good time to get that checked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I not, should probably do the same. Like, well, and so it's it's so and and we had this conversation with my my buddies actually, and now my phone's just lit up with ED fucking pills, <laughs> <laughs> and it's just like because like we talked about like how like how bad it is for you to take like you know Viagra, and now they yeah. have this new thing Phoenix. Like every third act, uh, oh is yeah, Phoenix. You know, I'm boner like, pills. Part of me wants to try it because it's like maybe the w- wife will be finally satisfied. Some, you know, take some gas station boner, pl- boner no, pills. But, no prescription and required. Then, uh, you know, two bears one cave. They are was it two bears one cave or um, bad friends? One of them. They had like the blue pill or whatever it's called. Yeah, yeah. Like, blue chew. That's blue what it's, chew. Blue that's chew, yeah. the big one they're pushing. Yeah, that's now. the gas yeah, station yeah. one. Yeah, and so like. You know, we talked to us like, yeah, like that, like it's, it's like, I think it's with anything. We talked about like ADHD pills, right? Like, so like if you replace, uh, these things with pills, well, naturally your body will just stop producing what it needs to produce. I and think so. I don't know enough scientifically, yeah. but like I do for some reason believe that. Mm-hmm. And like, I also think, well, it's, it's try, like an immune system, right? You should try natural means of yeah. health before trying pharmaceuticals yes because that's all chemicals again a great like conversation to have with the men's health guys because they're pharmacists actually yeah we should we should have and so it's time to have them on again well we were supposed to be uh on their show in july but then they never called back they don't like us (laughs) they don't like did we ruin it yeah yeah, we ruined it it was probably my fault (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, that's something that it's. I know I've listened to their show and they talked about it too as well. That like, well, and I I like their show because they talk a lot about like the medical side of because they have like the we're pretty honed yeah. in on like hey how are you feeling that's right which is I think just as important yeah um, but they're big they have that background and so they're big on like actual factual well medical th- information that and, is like, their that's profession. their profession yeah. and so it's interesting. I like what they talk about because it's the same. I think if you listen to their show and you listen to our show, it's probably the best combination. Yeah. Like, yeah, I just I just like their show. For sure, yeah, yeah. I like no. those guys. Yeah, they're, they're We fun. should have them on again or Now we should definitely something. schedule something. Um, but, yeah, no, so, yeah, it's uh, – it, it, I'm just curious to see what not drinking for three months is going to do to my body. <sighs> Nothing bad. No. No. That's I, the thing. Like, yeah. it's just – there's no chance I, it does anything bad. I know my wife's happy. Uh, really? Uh, and and that's the thing. I'm like, what's she so happy I'm about? Like, I don't even drink. <laughs> but no, I th- I think she just um, what what she's hoping to get out of this is uh, see an improvement of on my energy and hopefully you know just kind of I guess be more present because it's been. Yeah, but is alcohol preventing you from nope. being present? No, but I, I think... Well, then what's the big fucking deal? <laughs> I think I think it's a mental thing. More yeah, no, I understand know, that. For yeah, me. yeah. So... Yeah. Um, yeah, well, uh, yeah. I'm, I think my I'm, wife's a little bit scared. Is she? Is she going to do it with us? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay, nice. Yeah, she's doing it too. Good. Yeah. That's good. And she's... I what think about she's, your kid? <laughs> No, <laughs> yeah, she's drinking, she can't yeah. give up the booze, man. It's crazy. <laughs> she get the shakes. Thirteen and just wine bottles <laughs> everywhere. No. <laughs> no, that's a joke. That's a joke. It's a joke. It's a joke. <laughs> totally yeah. a joke. She's never drank. <laughs> uh, I can't say that about my. Not son. Not until she's fifteen. I can't say that about my. Fifteen. Son. That's our rule. 
My son likes beer. Of course he does. Uh, he does not like wine. No, um, it's an acquired taste. So a quick, just a quick story. We he had his first uh, communion, and um, is so, it real wine? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's real wine. Yeah. Okay. And so and yeah, I've exactly. Never done it's like a Catholic. Fucking, communion. they're they're giving them you know giving kids wine, right? My church, <laughs> my church when I was a kid and went to church, it was grape juice. And so, oh yeah, but we only did communion like every four months. Oh, okay. It wasn't like an every week thing. And so the first time my son did it, uh, and the church where we went to, um, they had nice and sweet wine. You know, so he took a sip. He's like, "Ooh, this is good!" <laughs> Out loud, <laughs> even the last person on top could hear that. You know, like, "Oh, it is no. Jacob. That- that's our. That, that's Jacob. That's yeah. our son." Um, but then the second time we went to, uh, it was our friend's communion, and he went and did the whole thing. And I guess they might have had like little bit drier wine okay he took a sip and he's like the whole time he's walking back he's try. <laughs> he tried so hard not to make a gross face That's but he, so he just could he's just like <laughs> walking by and like so yeah i did last last night me and my wife had some wine and we're like ah I just, like you want you want the sip and he smells it he's like nope gross yeah <laughs> i had wine for the first time of the season Last weekend? Weekend before. Really? I don't drink wine in summer. Oh, okay. I only drink it in really? fall and winter. Mm. And it, so... Oh, in Montreal, I enjoy so much wine. I just don't. I just don't. Really I won't touch it. And then, really? I, and then as soon as, like, you wake up, you get that little bit of cold in the air. I'm like, ooh, it's wine time. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, it's like know, my pumpkin spice season. Oh, really, okay. Yeah, yeah. You know what I want to do? Uh, after we're uh, done uh, our three months... Um, I want to have a, a wine night where, like, we should, like, everyone brings, like, a nice bottle yeah, yeah, of wine. I'm, I'm, I'm listening. We'll get some cheese and, and grapes and, you know, go get blue cheese whole. Oh, I forgot to bring it today. I have a bunch in the fridge. I was oh, going to bring okay. some for us to eat. That's right. Next time. Next time. But, yeah, we'll uh, we'll, we'll do, like, a whole wine <sighs> done wine yep, evening, done you know. Yep. And Sounds good. We'll only drink wine. No whiskeys. I'm all in. Perfect. Yep. <laughs> all right. Let's leave it there. Okay, um, so I, I guess let's put out the word there. If you guys want to join uh, our challenge. Join it. Join Text it. Text us, um, message us. What are the, the criteria? Ah, you know what, just join. Are we do- No, but are we doing it? We were going to do the money thing, but. Are we not? I don't know. We still can. Yeah, well, I, think we sh- I think we should because there. I think it's there's... shying some people away from doing it. Okay. And so I don't want to be, I don't want people to feel like they can't be a part of it. Well, okay. So if you want. We're contributing two hundred bucks, and a hundred dollars is going to get donated to a family in need or person in need. Charity, and then the other hundred is going to be pooled at the end. Whoever's left at the end, split up between. It's all based on the honor system. Also, if you want to do it and just do it because you want to do it, that's fine. Yeah, you don't have to contribute. That's totally fine. So nobody cares. Nobody's keeping track. Yeah, we're going to start a group chat with the group, and so. You're welcome to join us. Yeah. So shoot us a message message on uh, Instagram at Quiet Riot Show or Facebook. Uh, you can check out our TikTok videos as well. Uh, we have our TikTok is basically just a bunch of clips from our shows. Um, and uh, watch if you want to watch this, you can go on our YouTube channel. Uh, check it out there. And uh, if you want to shoot us a message uh, via email, it's Quiet Riot Show at gmail.com. And uh, yeah, if you have questions or whatever, anything, just, yeah, let us know. Talk to us. Um, we like talking. Thanks for following. Go rate and review the show. All right, that's about it. Cheers. See you later, everybody. All Quiet Riot Show episodes have been recorded and produced by Suver Media. If you think you have an idea for a podcast but don't have the space or proper equipment, please visit suvermedia.com for more information. We hope you enjoyed this episode, and if you did please hit the follow button and leave us a review if the platform you are listening on allows you to do so. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, The Quiet Riot Show, and follow us on the Instagram page, at Quiet Riot Show. Please share this episode with others that may be interested in these topics. If you know anyone that would enjoy these topics, feel free to share our podcast with them. Also, let us know what topics you'd like to see covered in future episodes. Get in touch with us in the comments on our channel and social media or send us an email to quietriotshow at gmail.com.